Morgan is so expressive. She smiles and she lights up the room. She just loves watching what's happening and singing songs. We had no indication of any problem. No, we had no idea. We had no idea. Morgan initially wasn't growing, and then closer to about a year or so, all parts of her development were delayed. Moving through the world is difficult for her. She needs help getting out of bed, getting dressed, staying engaged. She's just not always able to coordinate her movements. For three years, we searched and searched. Test after test revealed no answers until they identified a single point mutation on a gene, HNRNPH2. Every person has about 20,000 genes. Morgan has a very tiny mistake on just one of those genes. In our mind, this was the most devastating result we could have found. Morgan's diagnosis is probably the third. Now we're up to 18 to 20 girls who have the same diagnosis as Morgan. We co-founded the Yellow Brick Road Project to advance research of rare diseases. More immediately, we wanted to identify and support families like ours and help doctors to reach diagnosis more quickly. So we partnered with Boston-based FDNA, who have a facial analysis technology called face to gene You cannot know 7,000 disorders thanks to the new technologies. We are learning all the time. The face is one of the pieces of the puzzle to reach the diagnosis. I've always been someone who really believes in envisioning what you want your future to be. On Morgan's vision board, we have, I will climb the stairs with confidence. I will say goodbye to pull-ups forever. I will say mama and dada and Shaney. The Yellow Brick Road Project promotes funding of cutting edge research and technologies that will improve the future of those touched by rare disease.